Hello, I'm Matt and welcome back to Southern RPG. The players have spoken. Now, I spent a few hours going through the actual reviews that were put on the Steam web, the Steam web page, the Steam store page. And they are vast majority, 80% positive. There's 80% of positive. Now, we're going to break some stuff down there because it's not actually showing what it actually has and what the reviews actually are i'm going to give you some examples we'll go through some positive ones we'll go through some negative ones i'll show you what people are actually thinking on the real side of things and then we can have a look at the vast majority of what the reviews actually are and we can go through it from there so we'll start off with the positive ones when i first saw folks saying best bioware game since me2 i was praying i wouldn't be disappointed that is a very high bar so far i'm blown away this game is absolutely gorgeous the writing has plenty of nuance and they waste no time sucking you back into the world of Thedas. I'm a huge fan of DA Origins and still think it's the best of the first three games, but this one may very well take the cake. I'd recommend this to anyone who wants to play a very good video game. I'd write more, but I really want to get back to playing it. And then we have incredible stories so far. Great combat, dialogue, graphics, and music. My Rook is the most beautiful man I've ever seen. I'm obsessed with him, and he's trans, so suck it, losers. That one is rather interesting i don't see what that has to do with the bloody game being fucking good but okay and next we have feels more like a mass effect game but i'm just happy they are making games like this again it's a high quality single player adventure that is way ahead of mass effect andromeda it addresses almost all the complaints fans had about that game it isn't perfect and i wish it tied into dragon age games or had more of its own tone but looking past that this game is amazing and well worth it and if you're looking well if you're actually looking past that then it, it's kind of like you should be putting it up as an i don't know if you're enjoying it yeah positive but there's a lot of things that we'll be seeing in a moment that's kind of like a little bit mental and this one i thought was quite interesting because this review in itself was kind of like uh like it, it's more about the little nuances that are in games and not really the actual game itself so it has no ea launcher or account required 60 dollars and not the new seven $70, insanely well optimized, getting constant 120 frames on high settings on 3070 laptop on 1440. Rogue arrow shooting is great with auto attacks, aim attacks with press hold feels great, endless accessibility options, and can pause during cutscene. I thought that was quite interesting, to be honest. They like look quite a lot of people found the review helpful, and like 300 people found the review funny. I'll show to talk about like if you look at some of the like the ones we talked about earlier, like a lot of these have a lot of funny votes, like a lot of funny votes like the fan of review funny it's kind of like weird but we'll go over a couple of the negative ones now and i tried to get a little bit of a mixture in there see so first up we have careful even though it's listed as steam deck verified it does not work i have all settings on minimum but the game always crashes in the first cutscene. unplayable which i've actually been told that it works really well on the steam deck by several people that i know so i'm not really sure maybe there was an issue with this guy's steam deck that maybe has one of the older models i don't I, i've never really looked at the steam deck so i don't know if there's models and stuff like that so maybe it's something to do with that now we have a couple of big ones i wanted to look at some of the bigger negative ones because the the positive ones are all quite small as you'll see in a little bit when we go to that point i'm a diehard dragon age bioware fan i've been playing all their games since neverwinter nights and jade empire dragon age origins was a masterpiece the sequel was great i don't mind the action gameplay and i enjoyed inquisition but i'm two hours in and a few problems already arise the world has disappeared from this game. Every character feels like they went to the same school, same village. We're just running on Crash Bandicoot tracks. Every companion is joking, even though the world is in ending and people are supposedly dying everywhere. I hope this gets more Dragon AG, but the initial impression is bad. The immersion is not there. I will admit that it doesn't get any more Dragon AG. It starts dragon edgy in the first scene and then it kind of goes from there i feel out of place with this character and nobody who just happens to make friends and meet every npc from the previous games and i like this next bit feels like cheap cameos in a railroaded movie rather than characters you can have a meaningful interaction with and i completely agree with that so far as i've seen that it does really feel like they just stuck it in there to get a rise out of people what's this starting out as an all-knowing hero when every dragon age game has been a game about slowly being introduced to the world through your character it feels like rook might as well have been the inquisitor from dai since he she i don't know whatever man is so determined to save the world despite having no real connection to it 
at this point, I feel like Assassin's Creed has better dialogue options and choices. Okay, that, that's kind of taking the piss. That, that might be going a little bit too far. I think that, for me, that might be going a little bit too far. Now, this one's a bit of a long one, but I will go through some of the ones. And this is one of the good ones. And I will go through a couple of these points because this is kind of like this popped up as I was doing the recording. So I'm just going to have a quick look through this one. So they played the first hour and can't believe how much critics focus on single scenes on YouTube to make the game ridiculous. Well, the ones that were focused on YouTube were actually about 10 to 15 hours in and not the uh the one hour this person has played they love dragon age origins and dragon age 2 and i learned to love inquisition i think velgard's improvements are great and the changes of the new fighting system remind me a bit of the change from origins to dragon age 2 it's faster but it makes total sense as it gives you a new sense of control and opportunities also now reminds me a bit of kingdoms of amala reckoning but still different but more control and is fun the storytelling feels like always in Dragon Age. I do buy the story from the beginning. Love to hear Varric's voice. I will admit, I, I do love Varric's voice. And also Morrigan's voice. Like Morrigan's voice, the voice actor who plays Morrigan, I can't think of her name right now. She was in um, Farscape. I'm fairly certain she was in Farscape and Stargate. Some of my two favorite sci-fi series ever. And I'm pretty sure it's the same woman who does that. I can't remember her name though for some bloody reason. Maybe you can let me know down below. But this person went on to talk about the dialogue scene perfectly normal, at least not better or worse than any other Dragon Age. YouTubers obviously focus on single lines of the game and make clickbait videos out of it. That's kind of true, actually. You could do the same with some ridiculous Baldur's Gate 3 moments. Also true. When your character holds a speech before the fight in the courtyard and raises his fist with the weirdest smile or some lines of Will and Karlak. Also really true. I don't get why by Veil God, they make videos about single lines and start hating which they forgive in Baldur's Gate 3 also true everyone loved Baldur's Gate 3 and there was the some of the same shit to be honest slightly only little bits like tiny bits but if you did the same to Baldur's Gate 3 as they, a lot of people did to Velgar where they've picked uh, Taj's only Taj's lines mainly um, for the most part about their argument of how shit the thing is it's just one character it, most RPGs have a one character that you could just do that and make a game shit some of the best RPGs ever made you could pick a character out there and make them shit but this one actually also went on to talk about how they couldn't be the character they wanted to be so it could be annoying to them but let's see how it late is later in the game so far most hateful critiques i have read are bullshit and focusing on little things that i did not even encounter in the first hour of course you didn't let this see these kind of reviews shouldn't be there like it shouldn't be there it shouldn't be something that pops up because yes there's a lot of information in there but there's some things that are added in there that how can you how can you say anything about the game and going against the critiques if like it's just one hour so now we go back to another bad one and they did say in this one they'll edit it, this review if my opinion changes their play now there is more people that found the review helpful than there was people that actually made reviews which is kind of insane because that if if it was actually what they actually were saying if it was actually what they were saying and they reviewed it and not recommended it and everyone did that but they can't because they don't own the game so they're just in the doing other things i completely forgot about that little fact someone was going to point it out if i carried on that sentence but this guy talked about how, be how being four hours in and he still doesn't feel like the game has started my immersion in a dragon age game has legitimately never been lower than these four hours player agency is non-existent i don't feel like i've gotten any opportunity to rp or develop my character at all i have no idea who this dude is i don't feel like part of the world and the characters all blur together in a singular lifeless entity everything feels like a set you get plopped into scenes at a rapid pace with no chance to explore there's been genuinely never been another game in the series that has felt so completely on rails and uninterested in letting the player actually interact with it that was one of my biggest things that i was having an issue with that was one of the biggest gripes that i had that i couldn't rp outside of the storyline and kind of just like create things in my head for the character they go on to talk about the dialogue and oh god not even just the players which is abysmal but the dialogue in general is written so badly characters repeat themselves over and over again like you're too stupid to have heard them the first time also talked about that in my previous video here is an example of what i mean paraphrase but the gist is there character a we're searching for the nader's dathalan this, this, this is a good point it's an archive spirit character b nardus dathalan character a yes it's a spirit that can tell us all about the ancient elves history a few minutes later character a we're close to the archive spirit i have so many questions to ask it a few moments later we meet it it disappears 
Character B, well, it's broken, like all the other artifacts here. Character A, it's not just any artifact, it's the Nadas, the Thalon, the Archive Spirit. I have so many questions to ask it. Fades to black, teleports to a new location, and then <laughs> it couldn't even be bothered to carry on writing. Character A, blah, blah, something, something, Nadas, the Thalon. Character C, wait, you met the Nadas, the Thalon, the Archive Spirit? We could ask if about the ancient elven gods. And that was actually, it does make a really good point in there that that was like the repeating exposition and the objectives of constantly telling you over and over again what's going on like you just it's like players don't know any direction they can't think for themselves it's, it's i feel like they're making the games for children but i don't really understand how that could possibly be to be perfectly honest because it's absolutely and I, I don't know I don't know. Let's move on to the next one. Now, this guy's got three and a half thousand people that found the review helpful. So, like, uh, the, the thing is with Steam reviews is you can only put a review if you own the game. So, you can't bomb the crap out of it. So, a lot of the people can't write the negative reviews that they would have because they don't own the actual game, which kind of sucks. But it's to stop it from people from taking the piss if they just don't like a game for whatever reason. They don't spend the money on it and just bomb it. So, Steam doesn't lose money. It's just standard economic this guy talks about 10 years waiting for dragon age dead wolf my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined okay first of all let me make sure i understand my inquisitor disappeared after meeting solus at the end of trespasser and then he was replaced by some rook guy varic meets in a pub without elaborating then almost everyone from inquisition da2 and origins mysteriously disappeared while few remaining characters have amnesia of past events everyone looks like cartoon characters and dialogue is so simple that like, it was written by a four-year-old child i don't even know what to say about about emotionless voice acting robotic facial and body animations andromeda we meet again no open world no party control repetitive boring combat i agree with the no party control the repetitive boring combat yes and no i i still kind of enjoying a combat a little bit but it's going to say something just isn't right here what the hell happened to dragon age storytelling or bioware storytelling in general it's easy all the veterans left the company years ago man like years and years and years ago 10 years of building up solace as a main antagonist and then just putting him yeah yeah they just put him in the back seat to be honest and then it goes on about a subject of lgbt dragon age has always been gay and trans characters but instead of bringing back old characters that had actual development of story you know characters that dragon age fans actually love they decided to make replacements placements that can't even hold a candle to them and the main objective in this game is romance i'm saying this as a female these new characters are ugly unattractive and they don't even have a personality because apparently writers identify as non-existent <laughs> <laughs> actually find that fucking a little bit funny to be fair by the way i did already mention that the writing is bad this is just a deal breaker for me especially in a choice based game 100 i completely agree with that bit now let's talk about this this is the part that i really wanted to talk about in the video we've gone over a couple of the good ones and we're going over a couple of bad ones and now we're going to go over what is actually happening with a lot of these reviews a lot of these reviews are doing this exact thing and they're putting up a recommended review with a negative comment in there so they're actually not showing it completely as it should be this one here says this is a place where you can lay down your grave flowers and funeral sprays to the tombstone once beloved bioware thank you for what you've done and may your legacy will never be forgotten bg Baldur's gate never winter nights mass effect knights of the republic and dragon age now you are truly may rest in peace 1033 people gave some points for this one <laughs> just like it, it's just this is the thing as well that we as players need to take a little bit of fucking we need to really take some blame for these games being as bad as they are number one we're buying the games number two we're writing positive reviews with negative even though you don't think the game is good you, you've got it as a positive people aren't going to read it's just seeing the numbers it's got 80 percent positive if we go through the writing is painful actually painful i'm just here to push the positive reviews no game can change my straightness a few minutes later i like men now they should have kept it dragon age dead dread wolf like all these as put up as positive reviews which is boosting the shit and there's hundreds of them like literally hundreds of them that are negatives that have been put up as positives and then you have quite a few that are on the fence neutral conflicting on whether they can recommend the game or not as a dragon age game i can't recommend it as an rpg it's all right it's okay it's not bad but if it's all right and it's okay and it's not bad but it's not great then you shouldn't recommend it and then the games won't have people just spending on it because this is going to be where the steam reviews are where players who don't go on like the players that don't go into i don't know go onto twitter or x or go onto instagram or go onto youtube and watch reviews and look at the like sort of the dialogue that's going on about the games they're going to see all reviews see mostly positive say oh i love dragon age i'm going to buy it bang after the two hours 
EA's made their money. So it, it doesn't really help in any way to put up fake positive reviews. And it kind of pisses me off actually, because the amount of times that I've bought a game because I've seen mostly positive, and then I go into the reviews and it's literally people shitting on the game as a positive recommended status. So I'm still kinda enjoying the game, kinda. I'm enjoying the combat. Some of the dialogue isn't so bad. Some of the characters' voices aren't so bad, but there's still a lot to be wished for. And it, it's still a letdown for me. I wouldn't have put a record recommended thing even though i'm kind of enjoying it a little bit i wouldn't put a positive review a recommended review for people to buy it because it's like i mean it's just pretty and explody and kind of enjoyable combat and i don't know I, I don't know it's not the main reason i play these games is for story and the story just really isn't completely there for me at least but yeah what do you think about the reviews how do you find it how are you finding the game yourselves let me know down in the comments what do you think about these reviews coming up as mostly positive when there's a buttload of them that are actually negative let me know down below i want to thank you all for watching make sure to like yourself for all your gaming goodness fly safe and avoid local chat scams